on this week's episode of GTD Weekly. Ellen Page talks beyond two souls, Robert Bowling announces Ouya exclusive, did trigger a hit with Pirates, Left 4 Dead 2 gets Cold Stream DLC, Tribes Ascend gets a new weapon, Final Fantasy XIV gets rebranded, Ouya news continues, and more. Hi, I'm Jeff Rubenstein from the PlayStation blog. Here at San Diego Comic-Con 2012, along with the star of Beyond Two Souls, Ellen Page, and the writer-director of Beyond from Quantic Dream. Beyond Two Souls was one of the few big original game announcements at E3 2012. The next game from Heavy Rain creator David Cage looks intriguing, and the performance capture star Ellen Page is already talking about her experience playing the lead character. The interview with PlayStation Blog's Jeff Rubenstein gives a good look at how the game is capturing the actor's performance. Beyond Two Souls is set for release in 2013. Did really blow away what you expected to be a video game experience to be? Absolutely. Robert Bowling, President of Robotoki and the developer Beyond Human Element. Now when I first seen Ouya, I was super excited. So the Ouya's announcement and Kickstarter campaign has only been around for just over two weeks at this point, but some of the excitement surrounding the project has already turned to skepticism. One person that is not skeptical, however, is former Call of Duty creative strategist Robert Bowling. His new company, Robotoki, has promised an Ouya exclusive prequel to its forthcoming zombie action game, Human Element. No release window was given, but the release of the main AAA title is slated for 2015. Game. Because Human Element in 2015 when it releases actually takes place 35 years <laughs> iOS may still rule the roost when it comes to mobile gaming, but Android is increasingly getting many of the releases that hit Apple's platform. One of the latest big titles to hit mobile is zombie shooter Dead Trigger. Unfortunately, or depending on your point of view, fortunately, the Android version of the game has reportedly been pirated so much that developer Madfinger Games threw in the towel and made it free. If you want to support the developer, Dead Trigger is still available on iOS for 99 cents. <laughs> Left 4 Dead 2 has finally received the long-awaited Coldstream DLC on PC. The content pack is free and includes five new maps, four classics from the original Left 4 Dead, and an all-new community-created release dubbed, wait for it, that's right, Coldstream. The DLC is also on the way for Xbox 360, but those on the console side will have to pony up 560 Microsoft points or $7 to get their hands on the latest and greatest Left 4 Dead 2 has to offer. The headline new weapon in this update is, of course, the Twin Fuser. A Twin Fuser shoots two discs in success. Free to play hasn't proven to be the saving grace for all games and developers, but hi res Studios has done very well with Tribes Ascend. The game was well received upon release and has been host to a number of game improving updates since it launched. The latest free update introduces a whole new weapon, a take on the classic Spin Fuser, a dual disc shooting version called the Twin Fuser. hi -Rez has also introduced party support, new voice packs to personalize canned communication features, and the ability to append a clan tag to usernames. Frost, where we have an indoor flag stand, and a port of a famous tribe's one. The Galleons came from the north. And in their fury. Final Fantasy XIV has been something of an oddity since being announced. It was first revealed alongside Final Fantasy XIII and actually beat its numerically smaller sibling to the market. The MMO was not so well received, struggled to gain an audience, and was even shunned by its creators. Square Enix is not willing to let it die though. The publisher announced at E3 that version 2.0 was on the way, and it is now known as A Realm Reborn. Square Enix says the game has been completely rebuilt from the ground up, but if that's the case, why not just make a whole new game? The 
If there's one thing the people at Ouya know how to do, it's utilize the news cycle. The latest news on the forthcoming miniature Android console comes in the reveal of the full controller. It is very reminiscent of the Xbox 360 and PS3 offerings, but features a circular touchpad in the middle. Alongside the controller reveal, OnLive took the opportunity to announce that it will be there on day one with the OnLive app. The Ouya $99 price tag continues to increasingly seem like a bargain. And that's GTD Weekly for this week. Make sure to check the description area for links to our Twitter, the full stories, and our partners. If you like the show, please subscribe, like the episode, and spread the word. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back again next Saturday.